Hey, time. Time, my friends. Um, how many of you are feeling like there just isn't enough time right now? So as much as um, whatever's going on in your life, um, remember, you're allowed to nurture your creativity. So, and it's easier than, the, than you think to make time. So we're going to talk about that today. Hello, I'm Heather Freeman. If, we, um, if you're new to the Painted Playground, I get to teach women how to play with paint. Super fun. Uh, we have tons and tons of fun playing with paint. And um, welcome to my studio. I'm painting today and we are talking about how to make time for painting. Um, you know, one of the things I've been hearing from painters who paint me, with me is that they want to have more time to paint. Um, and they're struggling to find time to paint. And here's what I find is happening. Um, oh, and I'm just starting, I kind of been doing some layers on this one. And um, last weekend I did some camping, some awesome camping, got away and um, close to home and just hung outside. And uh, we were by a lake and saw some amazing dragonflies. So much wildlife, a lot of wildlife, birds and butterflies, tons of butterflies, uh, but then saw a ton of dragonflies. And so I want, I'm just feeling like doing a dragonfly. So I'm gonna add a little dragonfly to what I've got going here and see uh, where it goes. So just playing a little bit with some dragonflies today. So um, yeah, so, you know, life gets crazy. I get it. Uh, one of the things that I hear is you know, they end up, people end up spending so much time helping others, doing thing, things for others that, um, you know, they get it in their head that they think they don't have enough time. And then when they repeat that over and over and over again, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, um, and they keep putting it off, what results is that that thought then becomes a habit. we start to act in accordance with that thought. I don't have enough time. Um, that time, that I don't have enough time becomes your mantra. And we end up following suit. We end up acting out that belief. And we end up not having enough time. And I get it. I mean, that has happened to me. Um, you know, speaking as as a creative that has been painting and juggling life and home um, for over 15 years now, um, I get it. You know, there's so many things that happen um, managing a studio. So I've got, um, you know, I'm scheduling workshops. Uh, I've, I'm on social media, I'm, I'm talking with people online, I'm creating, um, hey, from, hey Nancy from Connecticut, thanks for, for joining, I see you there, um, I've, I'm managing the book, so I've, I'm doing accounting and bookkeeping and all those not so fun things, but they need to get done, uh, running a studio, running a business. And I'm, um, you know, working with paint party hosts, people that want to throw paint parties either virtually uh, or in person. And so working out the details of scheduling different events and scheduling workshops. And so all of those things take time and they're a part of my, my daily routine. And so finding time for my own creative work I get it. It's not, it's not always easy. It can be hard. And on top of that, I also, I'm a mom to two amazing teenagers, but they take a ton of time, uh, you know, and, and scheduling with their, you know, extracurricular activities and time with their friends and um, getting dinner on the table and all that good stuff. And I've got a hubby who he's off, you know, doing his things and we all come back and we, you know, spending time together. So I have a lot going on in my life, and so I, I get it. It can be tough to schedule and make that creative time a priority. Um, so, you know, 
it's clear, you know, trying to clear the brain of all of that clutter and all of that other stuff going on. Um, it can, it, you know, it, it can be tough to get to the canvas, but I'm telling you, once I am there and fully in the process of creating, it's an amazing thing. So, um, so let's talk about that. You know, the, the thing about some of our constraints is that, um, let me get painting too here kind of getting all into the talking here, but um, some of the things about our um, creative, uh, our restraints that we put on ourselves is that some of them, some of them are, are real, right? Like we, we really do have to get to the grocery store so we can have food on the table. Um, that's a real thing. We can't, we can't just ignore that. Or, you know, we've got a doctor's appointment. We can't not go to our doctor's appointment. Um, or the kids got to get somewhere. So those are, you know, real things that are happening. And then other things that are happening are more psychological. It's in our head um, that we don't have time. And, you know, really the first thing we need to do is to um, allow ourselves that space for, yeah, my creativity is important. And... Um, it is a part of me that, and it's something that deserves time. Um, let me get my white. Yeah, I think I'll put a little white down in here. Um, so we gotta, we gotta cut out the crap, right? That sounds a little harsh, but um, cut out the crap and start with believing that you are, you are allowed to nurture your creative spirit, your creative inner artist. Um, and that, that starts up here. Um, let's add a little down here. Let's see. What else do I want? I'm gonna add Give me some purple over here. I like this pink going on. So I'm trying just to paint and talk and talk about what I'm painting at the same time so you can kind of get the gist of that. Um, let's see, let's do... Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and then creating a space. We got to create a space for ourselves. Even if it's just a little space, a little corner, a little table. I think a lot of times we get worked up about how big of a space we need or, you know, how many supplies do I need? And, uh, you know, really it does not have to be too complicated. We can keep it simple, keep it simple and create that space, whether it's a side table or, um, you know, a little nook. When I was starting out and I had my two kids, it was, you know, a little bit of room in a closet and that stuff would get taken out uh, when we were, it was creative time and then get put away so that we could eat at the dining room table when it came time to eat. So um, just creating that space and whatever that space might be, it can be just a little corner. It's just so much easier when you've got a space set up and ready to go. And if you can have a space that um, is a designated space for creating, that makes it even easier. You know, it's a little bit trickier, you know, it just takes a little bit more oomph to um, get out paint supplies and get things in place. So if you are able to have a dedicated space where your supplies are there and ready to go and you can see them and they're calling to you, uh, then that makes it so much easier. But if you can't and you've got, you know, you've got to tuck it away somewhere, you just don't have that, that space right now, great, just go with what you got. It's always about going with what you got and working with what you have. Um, and then once you've got that spot, you know, you think about a little bit too, um, another little tip is just to think about lighting. So. You want to make sure that you can see what you're working on and so maybe when you're setting up your space if you can get it into a place where there's windows nearby or if you can pull in some lighting um, 
because it can be a little, you know, it can be frustrating if you can't see what you're working on. Um, so you want to make sure you got some good lighting where you, where you, wherever you find your space and whether you can bring that lighting in or if it's a place where you already have some natural lighting. Um, you just a little something to think about too when you're setting up and finding that little space for yourself. So it doesn't have to be a huge big studio. It doesn't have to be a separate room. It could be something that you work up to eventually. Um, but it doesn't have to be how you start, for sure. And if you've been watching me, my space has been moving all over the place recently uh, with the circumstances. But um, so you just work with what you got. Work with what you got. Um, so scheduling it, scheduling it. You know, it's one thing to have the space and have it ready to go, but you gotta schedule it. Um, if it's not scheduled, you know, think about other things that you have to do, right? If it's not on the calendar, um, then most likely it's not going to get done. Um, so actually carving out the time and getting it on your, on your calendar, whether it's five minutes, whether it's an hour every week, um, whether it's a couple of hours every month, whatever that amount of time is, Get it on the calendar. Write it in. Remind yourself. Um, it just makes it more concrete, um, and it it just it solidifies your commitment to actually doing it and getting it done. Um, let's see. I want to gap some. A little bit of blue. Where's my black? Grab some black. Um, another key piece is eliminating distractions. So, uh, once you get to your studio, a lot can still happen, right? Like, um, a call can come in. Um, So people can call, uh, oops, um, you know, the doorbell can ring. So it's important to think ahead of time about eliminating those distractions. Um, I will put a sign outside my studio uh, to let My family know that I am in creative mode, creative time. Do not interrupt me. Um, and, and, you know, unless it's a complete, like, total, total emergency, I really, you really don't need to be, to be bothering me. And, um, and I also try to, like, warn people before I'm actually getting into the studio to let them know, too. So really, and then turning off my cell phone and um, eliminating those things that could potentially interrupt me and distract me and take my focus away. Because um, it's hard to get back into focus once you're, once you're out, once you're in that flow. You want to stay in that flow as long as you can. So... Eliminating those distractions before they even happen. You know, just thinking a little bit ahead about that. And then once you're in the studio, you've done all this amazing work to set yourself up for success. Once you get in there, you gotta start. You just gotta start. Um, it doesn't matter how you start. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what your, you know, what you think you're going to paint on the on the canvas, or how, you know, where you're going to start on the canvas. You just gotta start. At some point, you just gotta start. Um, just dip that brush in, pick out a favorite color, and um, and start painting, and let yourself kind of dive into that creative flow.
Now, with all that said, sometimes, sometimes it's just not gonna happen. Sometimes life is just so busy. I like that, I wanna see that through. Life just gets so busy that sometimes you just have to give yourself a break, right? Sometimes, sometimes it's just not gonna happen. We do our best, we've got it on the calendar, um, we wanna make it happen, the intention is there. Uh, but sometimes this life gets in the way and that's okay. We got to give ourselves a break, give ourselves some grace. You know, creativity comes in seasons. There's definitely times in my life where that desire to create has been stronger than others. So let's just, you know, listen to it um, and take it when it comes, you know, listen to it when it's there. Take full advantage of it. But also know that there are some times where it's just not going to be something that you can make happen and that's okay. It's, it's always gonna be a part of you and it's never gonna go away. Once you, you know, once you tap into that and you hear that voice um, and you know it's a part of you, it's, it's never going to go away. I don't know where my, my paper, my rag is, so I'm just kind of using my smock here. Give this little dragonfly some wings starting there so yeah so um you know we gotta cut out the crap right let's just be real with ourselves sometimes we just need to put the kibosh on all the the reasons why we don't have enough time because it's in our head and we need to really start there and tell ourselves we are worthy of creating we are worthy of expressing ourselves and playing with paint and and playing with our creativity. Um, and then, you know, thinking about you know, creating a, a little space. Um, it makes it so much easier when you've got a space set up, no matter where that space is, how big that space is, how small that space is, whether it's in a tiny, you know, little corner of a room or it's the kitchen table um, and you've got to pull out paints in and out, create a little space, a little special space where you know that that creativity is going to happen. Um, and then uh, scheduling it, you know, really making it concrete and giving yourself that five minutes a day or an hour on the weekend or a couple hours a month to, to paint and to play. Um, and then um, eliminating distractions. So setting yourself up so that once you're in the studio, you have the time and the space to create. And you're not gonna get distracted. You're gonna uh, let down all of the, um, the stress that comes with having other things to do. Let that go. Close the door, close the studio door, and hang out for a while and let yourself create. Um, so letting people know, putting up a sign on your studio. Um, remember at one point I was, um, in a space where people had access to it and I just didn't have the ability to close a door. And so I would put headphones on, headphones on. And so if somebody came upstairs, they would know, they would look at me and I let them know. I said, if I have my headphones on, that means I'm painting and I don't want anyone to talk to me. And they would know and they wouldn't bother me. They could still come in, that was fine. Um, and do whatever they needed to do. Um, but they knew that they couldn't, they weren't allowed to bother me. Um, and then, um, all right, I'm gonna smush this around a little bit. Uh, and then, um, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta start. At some point you just have to start. You set yourself up, you're in the studio, you've got the studio space, and um, You've done a great job in getting there, and then you just gotta start. All right, I'm gonna 
keep playing with this little dragonfly here. Um, oh, and then give yourself a break. That was the last one too. Give yourself a break. Sometimes, um, you know, it's just not gonna happen. And that's okay. That's okay. You've done everything you can. The creative voice is still gonna be there. It never goes away. Never, ever, ever goes away. And so sometimes it's just the season. It's a season of life. It's a season of the year. Um, and that voice is always gonna be there, always gonna be wanting to paint. And so um, sometimes when life, you know, it does, you know, happen. And, um, and that's okay because you will always come back to that creative voice and, and uh, it's never going away. It's always a part of you. So um, I hope you enjoyed it today. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Is there um, anything else that you do to make time for yourself um, that I didn't mention? So let me know. Comment below. And um, I'm going to keep painting here. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Um, it helps kind of spread the word and let other people um, see what we're doing here. And, um, and if you enjoyed hanging out with me here, please join me over in our free Facebook group where um, you know we can get to know each other more and have more fun. It's a place where I can share even more with you about playing with paint and um, getting into that painting process and enjoying the painting process. And you can hang out with like-minded creatives who are digging painting and, and playing with paint too. So um, join me on over there and um, we have a great time over there. And I gotta tell you, I've got some really fun, cool stuff coming up. So you don't wanna miss out. So head on over there to our free group. The link is in the description. Just click on it and uh, you'll get to join the group. And yeah, you know me, the more people that are painting and playing with paint, the more beautiful our world is. So get out there and paint. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time at the canvas. All right, bye for now.